Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome to a tutorial. I know I haven't done one since, well, the very first two videos of my channel, but this tutorial is going to show you how to build a great starter house. I call it the Worker Shack. You can call it whatever you want, of course. Um, starter house, um, starter build, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but it's pretty simple and I think it's great. It has pretty much everything you will need and the first thing you can do is obviously start by clearing a small area for yourself. So now that you've got the area cleared here, you can start building. Now this can be built out of any planks you want and any colour glass you want, but it needs to have two types of chests, a trap chest and a normal chest. So in total the amount of resources you will need from the very scratch is 68 um, wood logs of any choice you want which will make planks, doors and chests and of course crafting tables, sticks which will be then used to make torches and and the tripwire hook for the trap chest. You will need uh, something like 20 chests, yeah you'll need 20 chests um, four of those will be trapped so you're going to need to have two pieces of iron uh, in total, for everything that's going to need to be smelted, you're going to need to have 14 coal because you're smelting 88 sand, which is 64 and 24. As well, you will need to have 84 cobble and what appears to be 64 and 20. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Now, what you're going to want to do is start by going 8 blocks this way or any direction you want. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, you will want to go six blocks, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Never mind, I was wrong. You are gonna want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, eight and ten blocks on the outside. And you're gonna want to make a bit of a square like this. It's not exactly a square, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle guys, yeah. And then you will want to build this up uh, by four blocks in total, just like so. Making this pattern here with great big gaping holes. This is where your glass is gonna go so it looks nice. I personally prefer to have uh, Grey stained glass because it's harder to see all the individual bits in it, but right now I'm using a texture pack, vanilla tweak, so it removes the edges and you can't see it too well, so it doesn't really matter here. It's up to you. Next, you will want to remove the whole floor. I will also show you examples after this of other variations of this that you can have, but you, what you do is you start by doing something like this. You don't actually need to have any middle here, so you can just put, you can miss that out if you want. But you will need to do something a little like that. And I may have actually miscounted, so I'm sorry about that. I, I believe I miscounted by eight blocks of cobblestone, you might need eight more blocks. Well, you start by doing something like this and filling that in. This is where your chests are going to go. You want to have two chests um, layered next to each other, so you're going to have a chest there and a chest there. Here, you're going to want to have a bed here. Um, that is up to you though, you don't need to have a bed. I don't always put a bed in here, but that would be that would make you need to have 69 blocks of wood and 3 wool. Next, you will want to take your normal chests and place them like so. Then your trap chests. Place them like so. You cannot put normal chests next to other normal chests unless it's a trap chest. So you have to do it like this. Then you'll want to have your furnaces placed down. I have built designs where you will place 
chests into these blocks here, like so. But we're not doing that in this design, and I've also done designs where you put crafting tables into each one of these corners, which is what I'm doing here. This is for easier access, and I, I think it's pretty great. You will also want to have a bed here, and then, of course, your four doors. You will make six in total because you can not craft individual doors anymore, but that is okay. Then you will want to place your glass like so, filling in all of these gaps, including the roof. The roof is your skylight. You can see what time of day it is, and it's great. This, this entire shack is amazing. The roof takes the most glass, but because monsters mostly cannot climb over, apart, unless it's a spider, you don't need to fill it in right away. So, you can just leave it be, and, oh look, it's getting dark, perfect timing. We will start lighting this up as soon as you've placed this, so then you'll want to have eight torches in total. If you shift and right click, you will place the torches onto any, um, onto any block such as a crafting table, and then you'll also want to get up to here somehow, either ladders or pillar up with blocks, and place torches up there to light up the top so that monsters don't spawn here. And that is pretty much done. This is all you really need, but there are variations. You can have many variations. For example, if you have, if you're on a server with a friend, you can put another bed here by removing these two trap chests, and that will save you from having to get the iron, etc., etc. But you can now sleep. And I believe that is. The end of the tutorial for how to build a house, however, I will show you now a, another variation that I have. So this is in a different world now. Here, as you can see, I don't have crafting tables here in the corners. Rather, I have my crafting table here, and I do not have any trap chests. That is because I used the two spots that were here for the chests, for the crafting table there, and the trap door here, Leading down into a basement. You can have a basement if you're not happy enough with the space here. However, I do believe there is plenty of space. You, but in, in the basement here, I have a food farm, an enchantment table, more storage, and an auto smelter. That, that does not include the mineshaft idea I have over here. Although this really just connects the case. But I do also have a nether portal. So if you're not happy with that amount of space there, you can just do what I did there with this design. And as you can see here, see here, um, the glass looks quite a bit nicer when it's grey. You don't notice all these middle bits, pixels in the middle as much. But yes, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, if you did be sure to click that like button, if you want to see more in the future possibly, click the subscribe button, and as always, have a fantastic day everybody, bye bye.